approved by the person who was the vice president of the United States going out to CIA and sitting down at the desk level with him. President, Vice President Kim Jong-un making a speech, having a ribbon, absolutely, commemoration ceremony. Whereas there was a pattern of pressure placed on the analysts to provide supporting data for uh, objectives which were already articulated. It's the inverse of the intelligence ethic. Uh, intelligence is supposed to describe the world as it is and as, as best you can find it. And then policymakers are supposed to use that uh, to formulate their own policies. In this case, we had policies that were already adopted and people were looking for uh, the selective pieces of intelligence that would support those uh, policy objectives. The outing of Valerie's uh, name and her position has a chilling effect within the agency itself. The first time in my 27 years in intelligence, the first time I have ever heard of a vice president of the United States going out to CIA and sitting down with desk level analysts. President and vice president coming out, making a speech, cutting a ribbon, absolutely. Commemoration ceremony. But sitting down and debating with junior level analysts uh, and pushing them to find support for something he personally believes that uh, Saddam was trying to acquire uranium. That, to me, is pressure and that's intimidation. Analysts are generally a feisty lot. They don't often just roll over and play dead, but they are also political animals and they're also career-minded. And they're not going to say, well, Mr. Vice President, you're full of it. They want to see the link with Saddam, and it, it wasn't there. I mean, Saddam was sponsoring terrorism, but the terrorist attacks were going against Israel and Iran. And that didn't fit in with the world view. So that effort to intimidate is sometimes subtle, but it exists. Just briefly, the fact that, uh, uh, that there is intimidation out there, and the result... We uh, stand by the National Intelligence Estimate. It represents the considered judgment uh, of our experts, and it reflects 10 years of work investigating Saddam Hussein's weapons of mass destruction programs. Everybody for the State Department briefing. Um, it's a pleasure to see you all. I don't have any announcements.